Hello everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today we will take a look at how the human body employs engineering. The human body is the most amazing piece of engineering on earth. It is a well-developed machine. Each and every part in it employs engineering. Today we will see the different streams of engineering employed by the human body and also how energy is derived from the human body. The human body is one of the oldest machine that employs engineering. Though being the oldest, not many of us have realized that our body is an engineering marvel. So come let us see how mechanical, chemical, civil, software, communication and electrical engineering are being utilized by the human body. First let us see how mechanical engineering is used in human body. The arms and legs are a great example of mechanical engineering device. They have self-lubricated joints and possess great strength without using metals. They help in movement and to pick and place things. The leg mechanism that is being used by mechanical engineers in designing of robots has been derived from the human leg. Without mechanical engineering functioning in our body, we would not be able to move. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen are the primary chemicals present in the human body. Out of these oxygen constitutes maximum percentage. All chemical play a vital role in human body. These chemicals are required to keep the body running. You could take a look at this chart to know what chemicals are present in our body. The vascular system, commonly known as circulatory system is a great example of civil engineering. The circulatory system resembles a road system. Similar to how roads lead us to the right destination, the vascular system carries blood throughout the body, delivering oxygen and required nutrients. The civil engineering in humans enables blood to circulate throughout our body. The brain learning new things is very similar to coding a new program. The human brain acts as the CPU of our body. All required codes are loaded in it and are used when required. The software engineering in us enables to learn new things and to also retrieve things when needed. We humans speak our thoughts to communicate. We approximately speak 200 words per minute. Taking this as the reference, a stream of engineering had developed, known as communication engineering. With human communication as the base, they were able to develop new methods of communication. The nervous system in humans also helps transmit electrical signals. When at rest humans can produce, 100 watts of power. After few minutes of work humans can produce 300 to 400 watts. During sprints we are capable of producing 2000 watts. Engineers are researching techniques to produce electric power from humans, which we will see in the later part of the video. The human eye functions similar to that of a camera. The iris together with the pupil act like the shutter and aperture of the camera, controlling how much light filters through. The eyes lens and cornea work on the same principle as the system of lenses in the camera and help to refract and focus light onto the retina or the light sensitive medium. The most important element for capturing an image is the retina for the human eye or the CCD sensor for the camera. The heart is a sophisticated mechanical pump made of strong muscle. For instance, consider a simple bicycle pump. When you pull the handle up, you create a vacuum inside the metal tube, which fills with air through a hole in the side. When you push the handle down, a one-way valve in the hole closes and air moves through the rubber tube into the tire. Another one-way valve at the end of the rubber tube prevents the air from moving backward. In comparison to this, the humans have a four-chambered heart. Two chambers receive blood and the other two pump it out. 
Human hearts have two circulation loops. The first loop travels to and from the lungs. The second loop carries blood to all parts of the body, delivering oxygen and nutrients. This very efficient system keeps blood moving in the right direction and to the right parts of the body. A team of Swiss engineers are planning to implant microturbines in the human artery. The microturbine works similar to a hydroelectric power plant by using the flow of bloodstream to generate electricity. According to tests, the maximum energy that can be generated is 800 microwatt. Engineers of a tiles company are developing tiles that can generate energy, depending on the impact of footsteps. It is capable of producing 7 watt, which can power an LED bulb. Engineers and researchers at Wake Forest University are planning to introduce a wearable fabric that can generate electricity. The fabric captures body heat and reuse it to charge phones. The estimated cost of the fabric is 1 US dollar. Engineering has been always useful in medical industry. 3D printing is one of the technology. 3D printing is used to create prosthetics and other human organs. With this we come to the end of today's video. Hope it was useful. Kindly subscribe to the channel and keep supporting. We'll meet you in the next video shortly.